Hello and welcome to Anatomy and Physiology at Glen Oaks Community College. I'm Dr. Ren Hartung. For this video, I'm going to go through this graphic from um, the Anatomy and Physiology textbook from OpenStax to try and explain in detail what's going on here. Um, first, let me just describe what we're looking at. Um, I'll describe each one of these little boxes here and talk about it. What this is really talking about is the, um, the basal nuclei deep inside of the brain. And the parts that we're looking at, this is part of the substantia nigra. It's substantia nigra pars compacta, and it releases dopamine to the striatum. The striatum is two of the nuclei inside of the brain here. Um, it's the caudate and the putamen. That's what striatum represents. We've got cortex up here, and specifically this is talking about the um, motor cortex that controls physical movement. Um, other parts, globus pallidus externa, that's what GPE stands for. Um, STN stands for subthalamic nucleus. And then we've got globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis here and over here. So globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis. And then lastly down here we have the thalamus. And the important thing to get about the thalamus in this case, the thalamus has a few different functions. One of them is a relay station for sensory information going up to the cortex. But also there are fibers coming from the thalamus represented going up this way towards the motor cortex and stimulating the motor cortex and making it more likely that you'll have physical movement, that you'll raise your hand or move your arms around or um, go walk around the room or something like that. More movement. Um, and that's what this is all related to, is how these basal nuclei influence movement of your body. There are two different pathways that are represented here as well. The one on the left over here is the direct pathway. And the one on the right is the indirect pathway for motor movement, basically. All right, now let's go through it piece by piece. And um, in the textbook, what it says is that if the um, substantia nigra pars compacta here, if it is more active, then we're more likely to see physical movement. If the substantia nigra pars compacta is less active, then we're less likely to see um, physical movement. That's what they're saying. And what I will do is go through what happens if the substantia nigra pars compacta is more active, and then what happens if it's less active. I'll start with talking about what happens when it's more active. So the substantia nigra pars compacta is more active. It's releasing more dopamine. Um, and again, I've said that it's more active. So just as a mental remembering here, we'll put a little plus sign here. If I can get my computer to cooperate, <clears throat> we'll put a little plus sign here. So more dopamine coming from the substantia nigra pars compacta. that dopamine coming up here to the striatum is going to excite this direct pathway and it's going to inhibit this indirect pathway. If it excites this direct pathway, then what that's going to mean is this red line is going to be going through. So we could put a plus sign there. And that red line is fibers coming from the striatum to the globus pallidus intern and substantia nigra reticularis that are releasing GABA. And GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. So that's going to lead to an inhibition of what the globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis do. So here I'm crossing out this red line. So there's less GABA being released by the globus pallidus interna and the substantia nigra reticularis. And therefore, um, with less GABA coming down here, the thalamus is going to be less inhibited. So there's going to be more um, glutamate fibers firing here, stimulating the cortex more and making it more likely that we will have physical movement. Let's look at the other side over here. And again, the substantia nigra pars compacta is releasing more dopamine, and that dopamine is going to inhibit this other side. In this case, it's going to stop GABA from being released by these fibers going to the globus pallidus externa. GABA 
would have an inhibitory effect on the globus pallidus externa over here. So we're decreasing, oops, I've lost my arrow. Um, we're decreasing the inhibition here on the globus pallidus externa, and therefore the globus pallidus externa is going to release more of its neurotransmitter to the subthalamic nucleus. This neurotransmitter is GABA, which is inhibitory. So this effect is going to be to inhibit what's going on with the, the subthalamic nucleus. And what's going on with the subthalamic nucleus is the release of an excitatory neurotransmitter. So we're stopping this excitatory neurotransmitter glutamate from being released to the globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis. That was causing these guys to release their GABA more and inhibit the thalamus but we've just stopped that. So less GABA being released to the thalamus in this case as well. And again, that lets the thalamus do more of what it does and send these fibers that release glutamate. So um, more glutamate being released to the cortex, more excitation ultimately of the cortex by the thalamus. And that's what's going on when the um, substantia nigra pars compacta is more active. Um, let's come back here in a second and look at what happens when the substantia nigra pars compacta is less active. Okay, so let's look at the other side of this. Let's look at what happens when the substantia nigra pars compacta is less active. And I'll represent that by drawing an X through here. That's the dopamine coming from the substantia nigra pars compacta that dopamine going up to the striatum would have inhibited um, the indirect pathway and it would have stimulated the direct pathway. But without that dopamine, now this, <clears throat> excuse me, now this direct pathway is kind of inhibited because it's not excited. So that means less GABA coming from the striatum to the globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis. That makes these guys more active, so they will, will release more of their neurotransmitter, which um, again is GABA, so there's going to be more gamma, GABA coming down here to the thalamus via the direct pathway, and that's inhibiting the thalamus, so we get fewer um, of these fibers firing to the cortex and, release, and releasing glutamate less excitation of the of the motor cortex therefore less likelihood of movement and let's do the other side let's do the uh, um, indirect pathway remember that the dopamine coming from the substantia nigra pars compacta would have inhibited what was going on over here but since there's no dopamine coming coming this is not inhibited so there is GABA coming from the striatum to the globus pallidus externa that GABA would inhibit what the globus pallidus externa does, and what it does is right here. So I'm going to cross that out. That means that there's less GABA coming from the globus pallidus externa to the subthalamic nucleus. That disinhibits the subthalamic nucleus. Now the subthalamic nucleus is going to be more active. So that means that there will be um, more glutamate released through these fibers to the globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis and that's excitation so it excites the globus globus pallidus interna and substantia nigra reticularis and what they release is GABA inhibiting the thalamus so that means even more inhibition on the thalamus and that means fewer of these fibers that release glutamate fewer of them stimulating the motor cortex and again, decreasing the likelihood um, of motor movements of you actually moving or of the person actually moving. And that's it. Those are the two, um, the two possibilities where the substantia nigra pars compacta is more active, which I did a while ago, and the one I just did now, which is where the substantia nigra pars compacta is less active and the downstream effects of that. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I hope this helps you understand this graphic better. Let me know if it does. And thank you once again for watching.